There's always a big debate with wrestling fans about, is there too many belts in like a promotion or is there, you know, and, and, and this is your, like, you're the expert, right? So I want to ask you, do you think that too many belts in a promotion is like diminishes the meaning of, you know, the belts or do you, or do you think uh, the more the merrier? No, I think it does. Um, okay. I, I think it does. And I, I'll, but, but, you know, it, it depends on the circumstances too. Right. So right. Uh, my best example or my best example before the current day product is if you go back and you watch some 1986, 1987, Jim Crockett promotion stuff, let's do it. <laughs> you, you had, uh, of course the world champions there a lot by then, because by, that's around the time Jim just kind of, the board really, the NWA board really all but disbanded. Jim Crockett controlled the NWA World Heavyweight Championship at that point. Just a fact. It's not, you know, so you got the world title there most of the time. Right. You got you got the NWA World Tag Team titles because by then we'd reached a point where every territory, you know, if you get back into 1965, you can probably find three or four different areas of the country that said they had NWA World Tag Team Champions. But the recognized World Tag Team Champions, Jim Crockett, uh, Jim Crockett Promotions, World Tag Champions, they were there, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so then you got the World Television Championship. Then you got the World Six-Man Championship. Then you have alternating, you know, it started with the National Tag Team Championship and later just the U.S. Tag Team Championship, where it's six. Right, right. Then you introduce the Western States Heritage Championship, where it's seven. Right. <laughs> and, and, and as much as I love Crockett Promotions, I might be leaving one out. I might have forgotten one. You guys would probably know better than, than I would if I did, but... But that was just a quick overview, right? A lot of people say, my God, everybody comes on the set has a belt. Right. right. Well, that's true. But also, some of those times, most of those nights, Jim Crockett Promotions were running at least two towns. Yeah. And, and I would, I would I'd need to get into checking to make sure I'm right, but it would not surprise me to find out some of those nights they ran three towns. Right, right. So at the very least, on a card, you could have a – Western States Heritage Championship match with Barry Wendell. It, it, you know, if you did, if, if Ric Flair was in another town and maybe Rock and Roll was in another town with the World Tag Team titles or on big shows, obviously they're all going to be together. Sure, so sure. It kind of, if you watch just the television, you think, oh, I'm sorry, I did leave that one. The National Heavyweight Championship, one of my favorite belt versions of the belt. The Tully Blanchard, Terry Taylor, Black Bart, all those guys. Versions I love of that National. belt. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it too. And, I don't know how I left that one out, considering it's one of the ones I love the most. <laughs> um, but, but again, okay, so you got one town that might have a U.S. heavyweight title, a uh, U.S. you know title on top, maybe a uh, you know some uh, one of the more minor titles un- underneath. You, you, they, at least it made sense. Is what I'm trying to spit out here. It, at yeah. least it made sense. They, they were running enough towns that they wanted championship matches, in. and you know the Western States title was a dusty creation because he really thought they were about to expand out more on that West coast, you know, uh, territory and, or make it a territory maybe. And it just, it just didn't come to pass. So then you had Western States title matches. I mean, we had them in Memphis run out loud in, the, in like 86. So, you know, so, so, you know, uh, but it didn't matter. Here's why it didn't matter because it was on Jim Crocker promotions television and it was a big deal just because it was on their belt. Yeah. Um, so today, um, do I think it's too many? Uh, I do. I, I do. <laughs> I think that. I think that when you have, I think exactly what what you said, uh, Jared. I think it was you that said it. It's, it you know, yes, I think it dilutes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Your main, your main, your main title. I do. Um, I, I think that the way Jim Crockett did it made sense. Um, it does. It does make sense. I, yeah. Mm. And I, and, but I don't think that I don't think that today uh, that you need as many. Uh, I, here's the shoot. I can't name every current WWE championship. I right. don't. I don't make. I don't make those belts anymore. Gotcha. Like handmade belts. Great you can tell. There. You yeah. can tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, great, great relationship with those people. Uh, sure. I'll continue for, for many, many years. It's not. There's never anything contentious. It's just we right. step more into our, our licensing situation. Right. Sure. Uh, sure. 
and, and running that business and then trying to play catch up on all the collector belts that I got way behind on when, when our original engraving company went out of business in, uh, oh gosh, several years ago. But uh, so some of those that got lost in the shuffle, I, I play catch up on those. And if it's a big enough project or, uh, you know, Chris Jericho or Brad Hart or Rick Flair's people or whatever called, and I'm going to answer and I'm going to say, yeah. because it, 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 it makes sense. And it's not about ego. It's about uh, good business and making sure everybody knows that I'm still doing this. So, well, yeah. And I can almost see you and my brother in very similar. He's not only a podcaster, he also is a pharmacist. So in the ultimate game, the idea that he's a pharmacist, he wishes that he didn't have to do his job because he's in the medical industry and he wishes everybody was healthy. But obviously, yeah. he's also a businessman. So he also sure. wants people to come in because he does want them to have a little sickness, I guess, not necessarily want them, but to know that he's there in case they are. And I can see that for you as well, being that, yes, you are a purist wrestling fan at the start of everything. So the idea of too many titles do it like Crockett did, that kind of thing, versus you are a businessman. And obviously you want to make titles for people and sell them, you know. So it's it's kind of a catch-22. But I think you you come from it, from the, the answer you gave was a very pure answer. So it's Absolutely. very appreciated that you, you know, gave that way. So Yeah, man. And, and, and that's, that's and it, it's just, it's easy to come out with it because it's, it's just, you know, you never have to think twice about something when you tell them the truth, right? So there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. This has been a James Rock Street production.